Daniel, uh, Robert, and uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm very delighted uh, to uh, see you all today. And this is an innovation-driven era. In the context of the op opportunities brought by uh, Industry 4.0, and Daniel you know, mentioned almost have my speech. <laughs> so made in China uh, 2025, the Bell and Road Initiative, and last but not the least, Greater uh, Bay Area. And uh, Hong Kong should you know, further evolve ourselves in order to play a significant role in the region. Uh, and I'm sure there are a lot of uh, economic, technological, as well as uh, democratic, uh, uh, demographic uh, challenges. But uh, on the other side of it, we'll have a lot of new opportunities that are uh, you know, waiting for us to, to capture. The, gov the government uh, fully recognized that. And innovation and technology plays an important role in the transformation and upgrade of the indus industrial sector and stand ready to support the continuous development of emerging industry, overcome foreseeable barriers by formulating policies and, very important, nurturing talents. The Bureau has formulated a series of in initiatives in promoting technological research and development, encourage, encouraging cooperation with institutions from mainland and overseas, facilitating reindustrializations, nurturing startups, providing financial assistance to local SMEs to upgrade and transform, with the will to create a vibrant, innovative, and technological ecosystems for various stakeholders in the government, academic, research, and industry sectors. With the advent of cloud computing, IOTs, and big data analysts, smart manufacturing makes Hong Kong well positioned to develop certain high value added industry and achieve reindustrializations. Foster collaborations between the industry Industri industrial sectors and research industry in, uh, research institutions is the broad directions for Hong Kong industrial developments in the future. In the long run, we want to encourage the industrial R and D activities to come back to Hong Kong. In terms of infrastructure, Hong Kong Science Park is expanding. The jungle or industrial estate will be enhanced with the view to support reindustrialization, A data technology hub as well as an advanced manufacturing sectors will be built on the two vacant sites in the estate to be complete in the three and five years respectively. To provide medium and long-term supply of factory sites for re-industry purpose, the government is actively identifying suitable sites near the Lin Tong and Hang Yun Wai border control point. And government assistance to the industrial sectors does not stop here. A sum of 500 million has already set aside for technology voucher to subsidize the local SME in using technological services to improve productivity, facilitate upgrade and transform their business processes. In terms of cross-border collaboration project, the Lock Marjal Loop will be further transformed into Hong Kong Shenzhen Innovation and Technology Park. It is a mega innovation and technology project, jointly developed by the Hong Kong government and the Shenzhen municipal government. With the innovation and technology as the main focus, the park will serve as a key base for collaboration between academic, research, and industry sectors as an international platform for top enterprise and institutes from different parts of the world. Enjoying strategic and geographic advantages, the park will definitely serve as a powerful engine for advancing innovation and technology development, and also Hong Kong's largest ever platform for convergence of top-notch international talents in this field. I hope you have a better understanding of the latest innovation and technology development of Hong Kong. And I'm sure we will we'll have more to come. With your, st with your standing support, I'm sure we'll make a difference. Thank you very much.